All right, go ahead. Hello, my friends at Westminster. It is such a privilege to talk to you. Uh, I was so, so happy to be asked to be with you and so, so sad that it wouldn't work out for me to actually be there in person. So I sent Carol with this video to give my best to you and to share my love with you. I was asked to say a few things on this occasion of the last worship service at Westminster Presbyterian Church about how my life had been impacted by being your pastor. And that was an easy question to answer. Um, when I came to you as your interim pastor, I had just come off of my last settled call, and I knew I was done with that church, and I was really wondering whether I was done being a minister, whether God was not calling me to ministry anymore. And I didn't know what was the next step for me because Carol had this wonderful job in Indianapolis. And then the word came that my colleague and your pastor, Andy, had passed away. Um, and I made the decision to put my name in for the interim pastor position. And that was an important moment in my life. I was wounded and I was hurting uh, and you were wounded, and you were hurting, and God clearly brought us together so that we could heal one another. And I think that's what happened, especially for me. I rediscovered the joy of being a pastor and a sense of God's call on my life. And I realized that my call to ministry hadn't ended, but my call to settle ministry had, because I was suddenly enjoying ministry more than I ever had in a long time, maybe ever. Uh, and being your pastor was one of the sweetest two years of my life, and I really thank you for being there for me and allowing me to be there for you. One of the interesting things is that um, I've gone on to be interim pastor for other churches, and I have learned more about being a pastor and about the power of God and the Holy Spirit in the lives of congregations than I ever think I ever would have had I stayed where I was doing what I was doing. You are at a difficult moment in your life as a congregation, but I want to encourage you not to be discouraged by it, but to take this opportunity to celebrate, because I'm not the only person whose life was benefited and impacted positively by the life of Westminster Presbyterian Church. Many people's lives were impacted over the 50-some years of its existence. All of the children in the preschool, the various people who came and worshipped and were fed over several generations in that place, all of them have been moved and touched and enriched by the life that happened there. And the reality is that no human institution and no human being lives forever. And the key to judging whether it was a success or a failure is not whether he or she or it dies, but what impact they had on the world while they were alive. And the impact of Westminster Presbyterian Church while it was a live, thriving congregation was huge. And God worked in you and through you in the lives of many people. So I love you all. And I want to send my blessings and my love to you through Carol. And I hope you have an enjoyable day together. Thanks.